Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Spore, episode number 11. All right, we have finally got our spaceship up together, so here we go. Welcome to the pinnacle of existence, the final frontier, the wildest, wildest west, space. You control the ship, and from this vantage, lead your race from planet-bound civilization to a vast galactic empire. So let's look at how you progress. Right, let's do this. So the bar at the bottom, as usual, is the thing that's going to be tracking the progress. Um, and we earn badges this time, as well as our proximity, um, as well as our proximity to the center of the galaxy. So mission control on the planet's surface is anxious to speak to you. Let's learn how to communicate. Awesomeness. OK, so the short range video communicator is your contact to those on the world below. You must be in the planet's orbit to open this line. OK, flashing signal means you have an incoming transmission. All right, let's see what this is. Congratulations, Cadet. You've got a fine ride there. We're still adding new equipment to your ship, but we should have it ready for space travel in no time. Have you flown a spaceship before? No? Hmm, well, nothing like a test flight while the entire population of the Maxine of planet Arton looks on. Yeah, okay. Let's do this. I'm in. That's the spirit! Each city on planet Arton has launched a giant orb in celebration of our first spaceship. Really, you can't miss them! Take your ship on a spin around the planet to seven of our cities. Fly through the orbs to break them. Once you're finished, we'll give you further instructions. Alrighty, I'll be back soon. Okay, so the immediate mission goals are up there. Okay, so this will show us pretty much what we have to do. Alright, so we need to click the right mouse button or use the arrow keys to fly. Uh, the mouse wheel adjusts the height of the spaceship. All right, that's uh, pretty simple. Right, so we got to fly through these thingies. There's one. So we got one of them. Here's another one. So that goes down. And you can see we can like build our colonies if we want to. Um, but it's, this is why I did it like beforehand, so we don't have to worry about. Ah, come here. I'm still getting used to flying this thing. Okay, let's see, where are the other ones? There's got to be some more around here somewhere. Uh, let's just click and that will lead us to it. There it is. There's one and then there should be one over there. So they've only got one more to go through. Here it is. Excellent! There we go. And now they want to communicate with us again, so let's do it. Good job, Cadet! We're flying like that, she'll make Captain in no time! So, what do you want me to do next? Now that you're an ace of flying, we're ready for you to use some of the sophisticated tools we've invented for your spaceship. We've been working on the ability to scan the planets and animals you discover on your travels. Looks like this tool just comes in the nick of time. The Sporopedia records... Uh, the Sporopedia record of one of our own animals recently became corrupted at the same time the animal started exhibiting some odd symptoms. The creature in question is exhibiting an odd glowing trail. Your ship has been equipped with a radar tool that can be turned off and on in the main tools panel. It will point to the mission targets and item of interest when on a planet's surface. The radar feeds faster when you're closer to your target. Select the scan tool from your main tools panel. I'll be back soon. All right, so we've got to go to our main tools panel, which is actually down here on the right. And this is our scanning tool. There we go. And then the active tool is shown in the spaceship portrait. So we can kind of see that's that's it right there. Um, right at the bottom right. So to deactivate it, cool, press escape. Uh, okay, not bad. Okay, so we had to follow our little radar thing. So it looks like it's pointing this way. Right, let's go this way. So now it's beeping faster and faster. There it is, I see him. Come here, you. You scanning, come here. Right, we wanna... Okay, we're getting stuck in a tree. Let's see if we can... Yeah, it doesn't want me to, doesn't want me to get any closer there. Kind of... Okay, there's another one over here. Let's have a look. Come here, you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. There we go, got him. Cool. Excellent! Our scientists are eager to analyze the data. So, what do you want to do next? God, Zeus, the information you collected by scanning was quite valuable. It's now clear to us that we need to examine this species more closely. Your ship is equipped with an abduction beam, which you'll find in your cargo panel. Use this tool to collect a specimen and return it to us. Alrighty then. So, we have to use the abduction beam. Uh, okay, so we have to deploy it long enough. Uh, oh yeah, if you stop the ray too soon, uh, yeah. 
for the victim, I mean specimen. Okay, right. So, uh, cargo panel. So we need the abduction beam now. There we go. So we are gonna... Hey, come here, you. There we go. Awesome. So we've captured one of these guys. Looks like you've collected the correct specimen. We'll need you to drop it off inside one of our cities. Select the cargo you want to drop off at the cargo panel and drop it off at the city. Make sure you beam it safely to the surface or we'll need you to collect another specimen and clear off your mess. Okay, just to be safe, I'm gonna... I'm gonna collect another one of these guys. Okay, I didn't mean to collect two of these guys, so let me... Uh, this is our cargo here, so I can... Uh, Drop one of these danger donkeys off. Uh, yeah, this is what happens if you uh, if you don't if you don't do. Ready? Just fly, and then you kill it. <laughs> so we need to just venture to any one of the cities. So where's the closest one? Let's just uh, venture over to a city. Here we go, and then we can just beam it down, and I'll beam the other one down as well. May as well. There we go. So they are all sorted now. Measurably fine work, Cadet. You've provided us with an excellent specimen to research. Throw twice, abduct once, I always say. Okay, so what do you want me to do now? It appears that the specimen you collected was uh, sick and infected with a virus that is capable of spreading at an alarming rate. It could endanger our entire ecosystem. Of course, uh, we want to handle this compassionately. We've equipped your spaceship with an extremely handy mini laser. Nice, so we get to use lasers. Uh, it has the precision you'll need to take out the infected creatures while avoiding the healthy creatures. Nice. So it's just a case of uh, selecting and pointing. Uh, capable of destroying buildings, vehicles, and other spaceships. Okay. So now we have to uh, get our laser on. Uh, okay. So yeah, these now cost energy. So at the top, we've got our health and energy. So we need to make sure those are kept, kept stock. So where is this... Uh, creature that we have to uh you're not under a tree again are you oh there you are i see you okay one's down right you might be the way but yeah gotcha right there's some of them taken out okay now there's some creatures the other way so let's go see where these guys are at i see you um, oh, there's an epic creature over there. Oh, wow. Right, hang on. I need, to, I need to be able to get these guys, but... Hey! He's breathing fire on my ship. He's actually destroying me. Oh, my God! I got destroyed by an epic guy! Ah, uh, Apollo 3 is taking so much damage that it's been taken. Ah, you little bugger! All right. Okay, let's let's build another Apollo three and get going and see if we can destroy it. Yeah, that epic creature kind of ruined my fun. I didn't notice he was taking so much of my health immediately. Okay, so we built you a new ship. Try not to break it this time. I will. I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to flying this thing. All right. All right. Is my laser equipped? Yeah, it is. There's that epic thing again. Okay, yeah, those things have like 3,000 HP. I can't even get these creatures because they're like... Ah! You bugger! That epic creature is making it impossible to actually collect my uh, thing. Right, we need to heal up. Okay, okay, we can't even heal. We're going to have to take this guy down. We're going to have to take this epic creature like out because he's like... He's seriously looking for a fight there. Yeah, we got destroyed again. We're failing so bad. All right. Come on, make me a new ship. Right. We need to take this guy out. We can't, though. Okay. That's one of them. Okay. Didn't mean to kind of kill those other ones. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, it kind of realised that we weren't getting any luck with that. There we go. We finally did it. Oh, thank God for that. Laudable job. You're the right stuff. No, I'm not. I've destroyed two spaceships. <laughs> okay, so we've earned respect and confidence. Uh, we want you to pilot the spaceship and lead our race forward into galactic exploration and glory. Are you sure? I got killed by an epic creature that wasn't even flying. Uh, okay, so we've earned the badge and title of captain. Um, 
Ooh, okay, so we need to install it first. Okay, awesome. So we need to buy it. Oh, okay, well, we actually need to buy this thing. Ah, fine. I'll buy that. Captain, get out your spandex suit. We're sending you on a space journey. Wait, spandex suit? Am I going out in, like, swimming trunks or something? <laughs> okay, we suspect we're not alone in the galaxy. We've picked up strange radio signals from planet Maltos in orbit around our home star. We want you to investigate. I accept. We commend you, Captain. Mission control out. Nice. Okay, finally we got ourselves a, uh, a badge. Nice. So, congratulations. You've earned the badge and title of Captain. Hell yes. Okay, so, uh... We can see what all the badges are as we get them, and see like there's loads of badges to collect. So, yeah, I'm gonna try and collect like as many as I can. Um, but yeah, okay. So we need to exit the solar. So here we go. Now we're going outside the planet, and we can see here is our star system. So we've got to go on the planet Multus. Uh, so where is Multus? Is it like right next to it? That's Mildia. Uh, ah, there it is. So there's one right next to it there. All right, so now we can... Oh, that's a pretty nice planet. Seems it's in the habitable zone as well, so that's pretty good. It's a T1 planet, pretty cool. So let's fly down here and see what's going on. Right. Something is showing up on the ship's radar. What's showing up? Let's have a look. Where do we have to go? This way. Ah, so I'm guessing we're going to have to scan this thing. So let's go to our, uh, where is our little scanner main tools? There we go. Scan that thing. So it looks like another race crashed here. Hmm, aliens, but no signs of life. Looks like they drew some type of cryptic map before they died. Wait, the wreck has triggered a transfer beam. Some items are coming aboard. Oh, nice. We're getting some items. Ooh, we're getting new stuff, guys. What are we getting? Nice. Missiles and an interstellar drive, which seems to have an unknown star's coordinates programmed into it. The wreck's damage looks like it came from a flight. This ship must have been sent from some other planet to get help. Ooh, what is out there? Okay, so we need to exit to the galactic view. So let's get out of here. So now we should be able to go outwards even further. And here we go, guys. The interstellar drive from the wreckage is responding to a beacon from a nearby star that matches the coordinates in its memory. This must be the home planet. They may still be needing help. All right, so we're going to go help these aliens. But look, this, this now is the entire galaxy. We can zoom right out, and this entire galaxy is explorable, which is awesome. Right, so we've got to get over to this star. So let's go over here, and let's go. Wow, this is a big star. Okay, so this is a T2 planet. So looks like it's only in it. And these, these symbols at the top, it tells you what stage it's in. So this planet only has creatures on it, so it's quite useful. All right. Something is showing up on the ship's radar. Okay, here we go. What's going on? Oh, wow. There's a wrecked city here. Wow, what happened here? These ruins must be what's left of the home colony of the aliens from the wreck. Scanning the ruins may reveal clues to what happened here. Yeah, okay, we're going to go scan these ruins. Right, let's... Uh, where are you come from? There you are. Right, so let's scan these ruins and see exactly what uh, they have here. The scan came up with nothing, but it seems to have triggered a response. Some activity is showing up on the radar. Oh, what's going on? Oh, hello. The scan must have triggered the colony's defences. These drones don't look friendly. Wait, an incoming transmission. Warning, Grox intruders detected. All Grox intruders will be terminated. Grox? Initializing self-defense code Grox 999. All Grox intruders will be terminated. We're not Grox! Warning, all Grox intruders will be terminated. For the last time, we're not Grox! Okay, we gotta get out of here. Okay, I'm gonna take these guys down. 
Right, so we have... Where is this guy coming from? Right, here he is. So let's uh, keep in a good distance. There we go, we've got one of them. Okay, two of them down, and get you. Go on. No, ah, stay away. Got him. Okay, right, we're taking those guys down. There are any more? any more of these guys coming. Nope, doesn't look like it, so it looks like we've uh, completed our mission. So we need to fly back to the home star, so let's get out of here. Right, out we go. So let's head back to our home planet, which is down here. All right. Your SETI device has revealed strange radio signals emitting from the star. Fly in and explore. This is our home star. Why would there be strange signals going from here? Okay, so now we can uh, we can actually communicate with these guys from outside our planet, which is pretty cool. All right, so you'll also notice we just collected spice. Spice is pretty much like the trade of the space system. All the planets have different colored spice. We'll find out about that in a little bit. Mission accomplished. We knew we weren't alone in the galaxy. Traces of an extinct civilization, hostile security drones, and the Groks. It's obvious that we must continue our exploration of the galaxy and potentially prepare for hostilities. In order to do so, we'll need to set up colonies at base of operation. Our scientists are already reverse engineering the interstellar drive to replicate its technology. We've also developed a SETI device for your ship. It will pick up signals of other sentient life in the galaxy, indicated by radio signals over stars that you target. We need you at the helm of our space program, Captain. I'm in. Okay, you're going a bit nuts. Calm down, love. Calm down. Okay. We need to expand our empire and our wealth by building colonies on other planets for mining resources. We've drafted a few volunteers to be part of the colony in Credit Pack, which were placed in your colonization bin. Our astronomers have been uh, observing the heavens and have identified a hospitable planet, uh, Firidon. Okay, Firidon. Okay. How do I establish a colony? Excellent. Placing colony is easy. After flying to planet Firidon, select the col colony tool that has been added to your colonization tool bin and place the colony on land near a spice geyser. It will instantly unpack, creating a colony. No assembly required. You might want to make contact with the colony to make sure the systems were packed in there, uh, unpacked safely. Okay, um, one more thing before I go. So we are going to uh, repair, get free repair, which is awesome. Right. So what trade can we do? Because we should be able to buy. So we can buy like colony and credit packs, which usually I think cost 150,000, but they're now only 120. Um, we have spice. We can sell back to these guys. I don't know why, but yeah. Okay, we don't need to do anything. So we need to go out and uh, go to a different planet. So let's. Uh, this is like the star map, and it will show like you can pretty much turn things on and off as you like. So what we want to do is, I think we want to see. Um, so we just want to see empires. So we want to see all the empires. We want to see where the missions are. We don't need to see the travel trail. I think visited will be a good idea. So we know which ones we've uh, we've gone to already. Right. So anything anything out there? Anybody around? No. Okay. There's a there's aliens there. So there's another species of life over there. Doesn't look like really though. There's much in our immediate vicinity. No, it just seems that the that's the nearest alien race to us, right there. So let's have a look in this star system. All right, here we go. Planets in green orbit paths are easier to terraform and colonize than planets on red or blue orbit paths. Okay, no problem. So essentially this is like, these are too hot, that's just right, these are too cold. And you can see what type of spice these planets have. So all of these have red spice, so they're they're not the best of planets. So let's uh, venture over to here. So here's our new planet that they want us to colonize. Colonies can be established on any planet from barren moons to lush Terra Score 3 ones. So this is what I meant earlier by T3. Uh, I said it a few uh, videos ago. Fruitful colonies mine spice that can be traded. Awesome. Right. So we need to go and place a colony in Credit Pack down here somewhere. So it needs to be near a spice geyser. So you'll see that if it's outside the range, it will be like red. But as long as it's near enough to one or two of them, like that would be 
Let's try and get it between like three of them or so. Or two, two will do, so that will do. Let's, let's put it there. So let's establish a colony on the planet. Here we go. Our new colony is being born. Yes, here we go. And you can see it's pretty much just like a regular city. And they've had they have their own little atmosphere and everything, so they can live there safely. Congratulations, you have grown your empire. Each colony's productivity is tied to its size. Size is limited by the terra score of the planet. Invest in terraforming, then add colonies and buildings to reap the highest rewards. Alrighty then. So we are gonna wanna uh, talk to these guys. Hail Captain! We have arrived on planet Firden safely and are starting the unpacking process. We're eager to start our spice mining operations. As you know, if you invest in adding more buildings to the colony, it would help increase productivity. Congratulations, Colony of Film. May our empire continue to grow and prosper! Alrighty then. Let's see. We want to go to... Uh, let's go to trade. Okay, so what we want to do... Didn't mean to pause it. Let's go out of here. So now what we can do is we can pretty much build these up just like any any old regular city. So currently we can't actually build anything on here because our terror score is too low. So in order to do in order to actually build anything here, we need to raise the terror score. But it's not something we can do like right now. So currently our mission is complete. So let's fly back to the home planet. Well, wow, that's a big yellow star. There should be a yellow star. Right, so let's get back to... Okay, that's too far away, so we have to go by this one. And back we go. Are there any other alien races close to us? Oh, there's one here as well. So there's. we have to kind of be careful of where we're going. That looks like a binary star system there. I'll go check that out in a bit. But let's go to our... Uh, so now you can see our, uh, our empire is marked in green. So let's... Oh no, this is a completely different star there. So I don't think there's actually anything around there. So let's head back to our star. Oh, the righty then. You've collected spice. Spice is a valued commodity collected from your colonies and homeworld each time you visit them. Awesome. So yeah, that's how we pretty much collect spice. So, <laughs> calm down. You're jumping all over the place. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I flew in space. It's it's not new. We've done this already. Come on. Okay. Once again, excellent work, Captain. Our empire will one day dominate the galaxy. We'll be counting on you to visit this colony frequently to collect the spice it produces. Our scientists are busy researching new technologies to improve the terror scores of planets, which will one day help to improve conditions on our new colony planet. Oh, Captain, we have, we have intercepted transmissions that we believe are coming from other advanced beings in the galaxy. We need you to investigate and attempt to establish first contact. Use the SETI tool equipped on the ship to help find them. Will you accept this most important mission? Of course. How will I speak to them? Your short-range communication is equipped with a universal translator that will aid in communicating with any alien races you might encounter. You'll need to travel within their solar system to communicate with them. Great. Where do I find these aliens? We haven't been able to pinpoint the exact locations of these transmissions, so you'll need to explore a bit. After reaching interstellar space, target stars that trigger a response from your SETI tool. Radio lines and audio signals are a clear indication. How will I know when to come back? Space flight will cause wear and tear on your ship. Return home for repairing and recharging your ship when needed, or to check in with mission control or other space program assignments. I think I got it. We will await your report once you've established contact with the aliens. Good luck in your search. Understood. Bye. Right, before I go, uh, I need to heal and get some uh, get some stuff back. Okay, we are done. Right, let's head back out then to uh, these other planets. So there's an there are alien races around here. So where do we find the nearest one? So there's one. Where are you guys? Right, there's one over there. So we want to hand we want to kind of head that way. Let's just double check. There aren't any like other nearby ones around us. No, it seems that these guys are the nearest. So. Let's uh, venture to this one. So there's some over there. Are there any more like around here? I don't see any. So let's head. We need to head to that star. And now we'll head to this one. There we go. So let's see what's uh, in this star system. Here we go. Let's establish contact with these guys. Drake's equation was right. A living alien race. We are not alone. Wait, Drake's equation? 
was it was it Drake's equation or was it something else? It was the, isn't it like the, isn't it the Fermi paradox that that that, that works as well? I don't know. It looks like they have sent an envoy to greet you. Perhaps you should talk to them. Open your communications panel. All right, let's uh, see who these guys are. Well, they seem friendly. That's a good thing. Uh, they like new acquaintances. Good. The Grand Council as the Flit Empire greets you. Oh, hello. You're uh, interesting. We are pleased to make the acquaintance of another intelligent species. May we have your information and documentaries, please? Uh, I am from Maxian. I come in peace. <laughs> so let's see. So now we can um, we can pretty much do trade and recharging things with these guys as well. So let's see what they've got for trade. They've got okay. So these guys actually sell colony and credit packs for a much discounted price, which is pretty awesome. Um, but I think that's literally all we needed to do for the uh, for the planet. So let's uh, head back here. So the aliens, and the allies and enemies filter will show you the region of space controlled by friend or foe, and the empire filter will show all stars occupied by alien empires. Awesome. So that shows that pretty much shows like all the ones occupied by aliens is the is the circle. Um, actually, I'm gonna turn off visited so we know. So now you can see the circle ones are where are where aliens are controlling. Um, pretty much. So let's head back to uh, let's head back home. Uh, can we get there? No, nope, we cannot get there. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to go here. Then we're gonna have to go here. There we go. So we've got home. Let's see. There's missions my empire yeah those are the ones we want on right let's head back home to complete our mission all oh, right we are back and we got a bit more spice nice the download from your data recorder is quite amazing captain we have no idea other space faring civilizations were so close by we are well on our way to establishing our place in the galactic community it's probably a good idea to forego uh, uh, to forge a good relationship with this race we may need an ally in the future Taking assignments from them will hopefully keep us in their good graces. They may also be interested in trade, which will be a great boost to our empire's wealth. I'm in. Cool. Our cities have been busy producing spice in record amounts, resulting in a surplus. We need you to look for potential buyers among spacefaring empires to help boost our wealth. Sure, how can I do it? It's easy. Add to the spice you've already collected from our homeworld by visiting our colonies. The spice will be automatically loaded into your spaceship's cargo bin. Find another empire who is interested in purchasing spice by traveling to one of their planets and hail them with your short range video communicator. Using the trade option, you can see how much they are willing to pay for the spice and decide if it's a fair price. From there, you can decide if you want to sell it or not. Once you've found a trade partner, you can also buy some of their spice and sell it to another empire for a higher price. Sounds lucrative. I'm in. Excellent. You'll be rolling in dough in no time. Try to find an empire offering you the best deal. But watch out for ones who might try to lowball you. Okay, well, one more thing. I'd like to recharge, please. So yeah, you're you're selling colony and credit packs for way too much money. I can get them cheaper from these other guys. Right. So I think what we'll do is we'll head back to these uh, to our allies' place. So can we get to it yet? Yeah, no, we need to get that one first. There we go. Now I can get to it. Righty, let's head back down here. And let's uh, trade with these guys. So uh, they they also have red spice, so they're not gonna they're not gonna have um, anything good. But um, let's see if we can start a uh, trade route with these guys. Um, all right. So I think um, yeah, I think we want to set a trade route with these guys. So. The Grand Council is pleased to grant your request. The trade route shall be inaugurated soon. Nice. I'm certain they'll be started shortly. Nice. So we've set up a trade route with these guys, which is awesome. So now if we come out into space now, you'll see there is uh, the trade route going between our two colonies. So eventually we'll be able to buy out the star system if we make enough money. However, a star system costs like a million small bucks and we have like a hundred thousand so we are going to need to find a way to make uh money pretty quickly um so what i do want to do is i want to go back to our let's go this way along okay we need to go here and then let's go here now there was another alien race out here somewhere i think they were in that start yeah let's see if we can establish communications with these guys as well and there's another one there too right let's uh Right, these guys are just like okay with us, so they're not 
they don't seem too friendly, but let's have a look. Oh, the universe has tossed up another new species, still wet from the egg. We think you're cute. Can we play with you? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm from the Maxian. I come in peace. Okay. And as for us, we're not humble at all. It is an honor. Okay. Do you want some cake? We have some cake. Ah, uh, you don't have any cake. Uh, well, we're not selling any cake, uh, but we do sell spice. But you don't currently pay a good price for spice. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to be uh, I'm not going to be buying spice from you. I'm afraid. Let's have a look. So that's got uh, you. Right. So that's got like ten in terms of our allies. So I don't think a trade route is going to be. Uh, the best idea with these guys yet. Yeah, they're probably going to uh, they're probably going to decline our request. But there are more aliens on one of these stars. Is it where is the other race of aliens? Are they on one of these? There they are. They're over there. So let's. Uh, okay, we can't quite make it to them yet. There we go. Now we can. Right. Okay. These guys aren't too friendly. Um, okay. They're they're like they're meanies. Those guys. They're not. Don't seem like the friendliest of bunch, but do we dare? Yeah, let's dare. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make contact with one more race, and then we are gonna end off the episode here, guys. So let's see what we get here. So, the Nosh Empire are a reasonable people. We reason that your species might soon be crushed beneath our military might. I'm from the Maxian. I come in peace. As long as you retain your humility, we will have little to quarrel about. All right. Calm down. All right, it is an honor. Right. So we can't trade with these guys yet. The only way to actually trade with these guys is to do missions. Um, yeah. Let's see. We can do we can do missions, but these guys aren't gonna. Um, they're not gonna be able to trade with us. So uh, oh, we actually get some crop circles, uh, and we've uh, contacted three empires, and we got ourselves a badge. All right, guys. Well, I think uh, with that, I'm gonna end off the episode right here. So as you can see, we've uh, we've contacted three other alien species. We've taken over a few planets, and overall, we are doing really, really well. Uh, our galactic we've we've been destroyed twice by an epic creature, but 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 shush, that does that doesn't count. So you know we're. We're fine. We're fine. Um, I don't see any more kind of alien species out here. This seems like a dead, dead end of the galaxy. Anyway, so uh, oh, energy is low. So let's rush home so that we can refuel our energy. Okay, we need to go to that star. Oh god, are we are we out of energy? Yeah, we're out of energy. Okay, let's go to uh, let's go to our planet over here and refuel. All right. So no spice has been produced, but let's just refuel here. Have they got anything useful in there or they just want to trade spice? Okay, they've got nothing useful. All right, guys. Okay, so uh, with that, I'm going to end off the episode here. So thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next part where we will continue the grand voyage into space. We will uh, contact some other alien races, hopefully do some spice trading, get a good bit of money for it, and then we can start expanding our colony, terraforming some planets, and doing a lot of awesome stuff. So guys, uh, thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!